I'm Christine Niles. Today's Monday, August 5th, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A trial is underway against priests who preyed on deaf children in Argentina. Just begun today, it involves clergy who abused and raped deaf mute orphans at the Antonio Provolo Institute in Mendoza province. Critics note that Pope Francis did nothing to sanction one of the priests, Father Nicola Corradi, who used to work at the Provolo Institute in Verona, Italy, and whose abuse was reported to the Vatican in 2014. He was finally arrested in Argentina in 2016 after victims went to the police. Pope Francis has issued a new letter encouraging clergy in the midst of the sex abuse scandals. Published yesterday, the letter addresses priests disheartened after the revelations about Theodore McCarrick's homosexual predation and all the fallout during the summer of shame, encouraging clergy to remain faithful and to have hope. The letter itself did not offer any concrete measures to address the abuse crisis and stuck solely to encouraging clergy to remain faithful. A former professor at the John Paul II Institute in Rome is slamming the school's destruction. In an Italian newspaper article last week, Dr. Monica Grigiel said recent changes at the Institute represent a terrible suppression, describing it as something unheard of in academia. Critics have blasted the Pope's recent shakeup at the Institute, which has eradicated the Faculty of Moral Theology and shifted the school's focus in a liberal direction. Assisted suicide deaths in Washington state are skyrocketing. A new report by the Washington Department of Health shows that the number of people killing themselves with the help of doctors jumped from 164 in 2017 to 203 in 2018, a 25% increase. The report also reveals that complications are increasing, with more than one third of all cases taking more than an hour and a half to die after ingesting a cocktail of lethal drugs. Uruguayan citizens' attempt to roll back a pro-transgender law has failed. A public vote held Sunday could not overturn the integral law for trans people, the 2018 measure recognizing so-called health rights for transgenders, including hormone injections and sex reassignment surgery. Many of Uruguay's bishops were missing in action, refusing to fight the measure, saying instead that the response to transgender policy should be decided according to individual conscience. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about racism and the bishops. God bless you.